Okay, so it's fascinating. So I, I have so many things because I love this kind of stuff mm -hmm. uh, with metrics because it, it, it puts it in perspective in yeah. black and white. So I had a former Amazonian. Uh, I would encourage everybody to uh, listen to or watch his episode. His name is Todd Vanderstel. Okay. He runs an agency now. He was at Amazon for like over 10 years. And you know how Amazon people have their own lingo. Mm -hmm. So I took away some things from the way he mentioned things. So he said at Amazon, we had output metrics and input metrics. You have to separate the metrics into these. Input metrics you can control. Output metrics you cannot. So, ironically, ACOS is both because it drives some actions, but at the same time, it's an outcome, right? So, it's it, that makes it a little bit uh, more interesting. However, what I want to do is, and, and, and by the way, uh, they also call these uh, metrics or whatever the actions are, they call them controllable inputs. So I want to take your ACOS power ratio and then define some kind of a controllable input that will drive that ratio down. Would it be right if I said to you, just like the way you put a best practice of no more than 30 keywords per campaign, would it be right the higher the negative keywords per campaign, the better? Yes. And what would that number be? If you were to create like a benchmark. Mm -hmm. um, so ACOS power ratio um, is definitely controlled by the amount of negative keywords you have. Um, it's also controlled by um, something else, uh, which I'll get to in a second. Um, but definitely all these accounts, you click on them. There wasn't like a single campaign or ad group that didn't have negatives, meaning they were really on top of it. Uh, and that was nice. So in terms of like an amount of negatives, I don't necessarily know. I honestly think, because I know some of these accounts, I know the people that manage them. Um, I do know that they're just very disciplined. Um, like they're very go in and add negatives. I know that all of them are on like the ad badger software. So like they're all have some kind of negative keyword automation running and like finding some negatives for them. Um, we also do something called like search term ngram analysis, um, where you, let's say you have, you know, you have a bunch of search terms and this search term, the first one, the first one is like trail running shoe. It got one click. You don't know what to do with it. The second term is um, men's trail shoes in red. Got one click. You don't know what to do with it. The third one is women's trail basketball shoes. It got one click. You don't know what to do with it. And you repeat this process for all of your thousands of search terms. And what you end up finding is that that word trail was in 50 terms and each individual term only got one click. But trail, if you were to add up everywhere where trail was, every single search term with the word trail in it, you'd end up with 50 clicks and no orders. So I, that's where you can get a proactive negative phrase, trail. You're basically saying, it doesn't matter uh, what the word is, but if it's got trail in it, I'm almost positive it's not going to convert because I have 50 different search terms, all with one click each, where this doesn't convert. So you do that, and not only, so you you you're bringing down your ACOS power ratio. You're bringing down that amount of wasted spend. So you're analyzing your search terms in ways that you couldn't either, which is also because these people are on our platform, I know that they have that tool available to them. And I know that it's one of the coolest tools that we have. So like that proactive search term analysis is really valuable. So that being said, like the input is really having 
a practice where once a month or twice a month, you go in and you're strict with search term analysis. You're trying to find as many negatives as you can. And then you're also going out and you're trying to find even more negatives that you don't have show up very visibly in your search term report. Like how do I block things from ever even triggering it? Because here's a really interesting thing. Um, you know, your, your click-through rate is like 1%. Barely, it's not even 1% for your entire account. You only see your clicks. You only see inside your search term report for things that you got clicks on. You know, you don't see in your search term report things you didn't get clicks on. But it's almost like you want to bring that number down. So there's there's like the, you know, I don't want, I, I never want to show up for things I know I'm not going to convert for and get clicks for. So that's a really, I would say the input is really the practice of sort of methodically doing that.